As a kid and still now, I've always enjoyed Lego, but easily my favourite part about Lego is its very unique construction line, essentially buildable action figures. And it's been 10 years since I first got during a breakout, which opened me to the world of LEGO construction, and wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for me buying that set. So for celebrating this, I'm going to be ranking all the LEGO construction themes. There are some rules, however, obviously this is my opinion, and if there's a LEGO theme that focuses more on construction- Also, I'm not going to be uploading next week, as not only do I have a lot of plans, but also it's my birthday next week, so... Yeah. Now, let's get straight into the video. I'm sorry, but what the hell in Hans Christian's name is Lego Galador? And I mean, is this even Lego? This is more of the stuff of my nightmares. Now, look, experimenting in a business is always very welcome, but if you're experimenting out of a thing that made you blow up in the first place, then why even bother? I don't even own any Lego Galador, and... Honestly, I don't want to. Maybe except for one showing on screen, but generally these figures are janky and they just look so horrible. And all of this was meant to kickstart a brand new franchise? What? Phantom Strider, another one of my favorite YouTubers, pointed out that the show was so horrible that the actors playing in that show never acted again. So the toys were horrible and the show ended a lot of careers early. This just goes to show how notorious Galador is in the LEGO community. If it wasn't for a certain other LEGO construction theme that you'll see later on this list, then Galador would have ended LEGO for good. Then again, what am I saying? There's not much to expect in this franchise anyway. I mean, for crying out loud, its main villain is called Gorm. Murloc! Nexo Knight! From abysmal to just meh, we have LEGO Knight's Kingdom. Now, Despite its low placement, I actually do not hate this theme at all. In fact, on one of my birthdays, I actually received Danjo along with three other Bionicles, uh, which, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't know that Knight's Kingdom existed, and honestly, I think he's my favourite one out of the main four Knights of the Line, because the other ones just look kind of bland to me. This was LEGO's first attempt at combining the classic system with construction, and it didn't really 100% work, as posing these guys and trying to stand them up is a bit frustrating, even with the one that I just had. However, they do look pretty cool, so that does give them a leg up over Galador, but ultimately what hurts her ranking is the fact that I'm just not really interested in, like, medieval-based media. I'm not really a big fan of that sort of stuff, and also I just generally prefer the other construction themes over Knight's Kingdom. Our console dumb. It grows out of trees. It started when I went to private kids in Garrett Lane. I felt like buying something that made me feel nostalgic. I saw a plastic bag and some things called I was Ben 10. There was a bunch of loose Lego, so I attempted to rebuild every single one of them. There are also Skylanders, but I already owned them, Ben 10. Wait, so what story is it about now? I already owned both for nine years, counting. Luke Skywalker was incomplete. He mung us all, looked pretty glad. So I bought Spider Monkey and we found him. Lego Ben 10 was certainly interesting. While I honestly think that Lego Ben 10 could have done a lot better if it was just made out of a Lego system, I do have to appreciate a few things here and there. The Lego Ben 10 figures pose pretty well. They are much more easier to pose compared to Knight's Kingdom. And also, Lego added four ball soccer joints into the torso. No, I, I don't know whether it's genius or stupid, I, I just wanted to mention it. Unfortunately, I had to put Ben 10 at the lower half of the list, because all the models are built the exact same way, only with a few other pieces thrown into the mix. So, while they do pose somewhat well, they look very inaccurate to the original source material, and they're not the best figures to look at, to be honest. And despite being called Ben 10, only six sets were ever released, for this theme. Therefore, it leaves out four other aliens from Ben 10 Alien Force, which is just so unsatisfactory. I mean, come on. I would have loved to have a Lego brainstorm. You Rebel Riders from Lego, if you don't buy our toys, you will die tomorrow. 
Robo Riders is the Shadow the Hedgehog of LEGO Construction. Not only do the Robo Riders themselves have that Metallica-like art style, but its marketing in LEGO magazines were generally over the top and frantic. Out of the three LEGO Construction themes that are paired up with Technic, Robo Riders is the one that feels more like Technic sets the most. However, the theme is often considered as a construction theme, hence why it's on this list. The concept and the novelty of Robo Riders is really what elevates it to the top five. Each Robo Rider looks like they fit in their specific environment, and also it has very specific functions tailored to each Robo Rider. However, the main gimmick of these Robo Riders are these shooting discs at the front, which can also be used as wheels. My mum's cousin's wife had one of these Robo Riders, in fact the one showing on screen right now, and I tried using that shooting function, and honestly, <laughs> it did not work at all. And what do the UK commercial Robo Riders have to say to this? Great yeah, not exactly. Now, while I certainly do like these Robo Riders to an extent, and I very much hope to get my hands on one of them soon to add to my LEGO collection, due to their rubber shooting function and for being the least construction-like construction theme, the Robo Riders are just shy of the top four. My name is Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, a bit surprising that one of LEGO's worst failures ever is in the top half of my list. Y yes, the tie in TV media was pretty terrible. The 2015 webisodes looked more like a college student's first animation project, and Journey to One? <laughs> we do not talk about Journey to One in my channel ever. But the sets were pretty good for 2015 standards. Each of the Toa have their own features and design standpoint that really makes them stand out from each other, compared to something like Robo Riders and Knight's Kingdom. And while the villain sets are just skeletons and beasts, which is something that we've seen from LEGO many times before, the sets look very unique and distinct, and the translucent pieces are just the icing on the cake. Also, Beyond Core Generation 2 did something that Generation 1 fails to do having a great combination of form and functionality. The sets looks great, posed great, and the functions just enhanced the figures. Honestly, if it wasn't for the terrible TV shows dragging it down, then Beyond Core Generation 2 could have been in my top three. Beep up, this is acceptable, beep up -o. Lego Slicers, or Lego Throwbots if you live in the US, was the first ever Lego construction theme, beginning in 1999 and ending in 2000. That's one reason, and that reason alone is why Lego Slicers is in the top three. Each of the slicers look distinguishable from each other, and like Robo Riders, each of the slicers look like they can fit in certain environments. Although I only have two sets from this theme thus far, I really do take a fondness to slicers. All the slicers had this disc launching gimmick, and while it may not be special for modern standards, especially since Beyond Call actually used this gimmick in 2004, it's one that was absolutely amazing for the time, and it's super fun to mess around with. And while I don't understand French whatsoever, I do really quite like the commercials, and it gives this weird and mysterious atmosphere. Bonne chance, sub -slicer. Although Slicers had a very short lifespan, I think we can all agree that if it wasn't for Slicers kickstarting construction as a whole, then none of these other LEGO construction themes would have entered shelves and into our hearts. Unity, duty, and density. And now we get to the most famous LEGO construction theme, LEGO Bionicle. If it wasn't for Bionicle's amazing sets and surprisingly complex story, then LEGO would have been out of business. It is also the longest running theme on this list, running for a whopping 10 years, <laughs> only to be recently beaten by Ninjago. That just goes to show how absolutely loved Bionicle is. And the only reason why it's number two is because, well, personal preference and this is my personal list. But I absolutely still love Lego Bionicle. Even though the cracking joints proved to be the instigator of Bionicle's eventual cancellation, Bionicle has done a lot to shape a part of Lego history. The sets went from almost being identical to each other, to sets that have their own unique builds. And as Bionicle continued, the builds of the actual sets also continued to improve, 
with your Nike build, helping with stability, as well as it's able to accommodate to more crazier and complex vehicle builds. And although difficult to get it into, the story was absolutely mind-blowing. Not only do characters develop through the entire story, but also there's some actual stakes with an ever-present, if not bland, main villain. The story also had shades of grey to its characters, they weren't just good guys because, well, the good guys, but there's some good guys that actually have their own motivations that prevent them from doing the right thing, and then they're bad guys that actually have their own sympathetic motivations. The story wasn't just black and white, good versus evil. It was a collection of many stories that eventually culminates together to create an epic story. And since then, all of LEGO's original themes had some sort of story. Their adverts were actually surprisingly deeply engaging, and also pretty terrifying. The fate of the city is in the clutches of darkness. Bionicle, surrender or run. I could go on and on and on, but for being the LEGO theme that saved Bionicle, and also for introducing the cultural masterpiece that is the Paraka rap. Yo, yo, Paraka! This alone is why the Oracle is in the top two. And now we get to not only my favourite LEGO construction theme, but also my personal favourite LEGO theme of all time. LEGO Hero Factory. It may have only lasted half a year that the Oracle lasted, but Hero Factory to me is just practically everything. Just do yourselves a favor and don't watch the video I made about it. When I was younger, I was hooked onto Hero Factory simply because this wasn't what I thought of when I think of Lego. This was something different and I wanted to try that. And thank goodness I have. Hero Factory introduced probably the best building system in construction, that being CCBS, Character Creature Building System, which allowed for a much more easier way to build your very own Lego hero. And I absolutely loved the TV show when I was younger, and I still do to this day, even after 10 years of me being introduced to Hero Factory. I mean, yes, sure, the villains are incredibly static characters, but the thing is, despite their limited characterization, I still loved pretty much every single Hero Factory character. I just couldn't fathom to think of a world where I never got into Hero Factory. Hero Factory practically represented my childhood, and also me as a person too. Especially in 2012, which is the year where I got into Hero Factory, it was just so fun playing with the figures, with the heroes catching the bad guys, and I always had fun like taking apart the sets and building like a new villain or a new hero to go in a separate team. And generally, Stringer is probably the first fictional character I ever really grew to care about. I mean, sure, he's just a, a laid-back hero who is ready to do the right thing, but his character speaks to me because he is the first Hero Factory character I ever bought. And honestly, if it wasn't for this absolute mad lad, then... I don't know where the hell I'll be today, really. And I still feel the sting of its cancellation in 2015. And sure, while Beyond Call Generation 2, at least the sets were a good successor, LEGO just never really felt the same for me again after Hero Factory's cancellation. To think that I've loved this franchise for 10 years is just absolutely incredible. And, like I said, I just wouldn't know what sort of person I would be if it wasn't for Hero Factory. It will forever have a place in my heart, and not just in my heart, but also to those who grew up in the early 2010s. And that is why it is undisputedly number one in my list. However, what is your favourite LEGO construction theme? I'm open to any opinions. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.